is also known as a spectrum. We can be anywhere on the spectrum. People who live with ASD suffer from great levels of anxiety. A school local expressive class which is called Nanny in 2016. The purpose of the class is to support students with ASD across the mainstream education. When you hear the word autism, what do you think? I suppose autism is something that could be affecting someone um, through the brain, like brain damage. Autism, I, I think it's at some level the person is challenged in some way in the context of just, they don't have the normal cognitive responses okay. to situations. Uh, special needs and all that. A difference, a difference in a person, it's not a disability as such. I think it's a different type of person. Autism is a mental condition that makes it difficult for people to use language, communicate and form relationships. How can we raise awareness for autism? I suppose inform people about all different types of autism. I think it's good to have um, maybe mildly autistic students maybe in schools, in mainstream schools at some level. So that we can, so that from a very young age, um, kids just see it as a natural part of life and that they're not surprised or shocked when they meet these people. What are the stereotypes associated with autism? The, the pre, pre conceived, I suppose, idea that what autism is, you know, that they think it's jumping up and down, flapping hands, all of that. I suppose one of the stereotypes is maybe somebody sitting in a chair making strange noises and in a completely different planet. Some think that people with autism have enhanced cognitive abilities or that they are a lot less social than the average person. This, however, is not always the case. Autism is very broad and each diagnosis is unique to each individual. Our project was very focused and driven towards making sure that people in our surrounding communities and the wider region of Ireland understand and accept autism in a comprehensive way. Autism is a complex, invisible condition which a person is either born with or develops later in life. It can be described as a spectrum, which means it impacts different people in different ways and in different situations. Autism is a different perspective of life. It is not a disease as so many people believe it to be. For some people with autism, it doesn't affect them as much as it would others. Although they may act or think differently in situations, it is just their way of dealing with a stressful situation. It is important to know that every individual on the autistic spectrum is just that, an individual with distinct needs, strengths and challenges. Some of the types of autism on the spectrum are low-functioning autism, high-functioning autism and Asperger's syndrome. Low-functioning autism is commonly diagnosed in the earlier stages of a child's life. It includes traits such as lack of communication, finding socialising difficult, or they may engage in unusual or repetitive behaviour. People are often confused by the huge similarities between people with high-functioning autism and Asperger's syndrome. People with high-functioning autism and Asperger's syndrome don't generally have the same difficulties as those with low-functioning autism. They do not have as much difficulty with learning and speech, although people with Asperger's syndrome can still find it hard to communicate and often have a very literal understanding and use of language. All in all, autism is something that should be celebrated. We hope you learned something new from this video.